Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hells Bell, hello. I don't know if I need to give that up really, but anyway, we are where we are. So um, I hope you're all well. I am. It's a very, very mild day today. I must say, I've just had to open the back door because I put this lovely cashmere sweater on from um, that I got from Lily Silk. And it's very fine, as you can see. You can see my vest top underneath. But I'm so warm. So the weather is so topsy-turvy, isn't it? But spring is on its way, so we don't have to wait much longer. Um, thank you all for the lovely comments you made on the... What, what, oh, the Marks & Spencer video where I bravely put on the swimsuit um yeah that's not easy anyway but I didn't you know I was quite discreet about uh, my bottom half I've got very heavy legs and um uh you know be it'd just be a step too far for me to kind of do the whole thing on camera but uh yeah it was a good video I enjoyed it and uh a lot of you enjoyed it too it would seem so that's great uh, mum's gone home now you know she stayed for a few days um, but unfortunately she's broken a tooth so she was too uncomfortable to come on camera really while that needs fixing and I don't blame her you know it's there forever isn't it I mean you know I see things on this camera that I didn't know about myself at all um, even the way I pronounce some words it's so strange isn't it because who would ever record this much of them talking never um so it's quite a revelation sometimes anyway as usual i go on about nothing so today i have got um a george hall george astor and it looks like there's some nice bits but as usual i don't know until i try them on and i've also got these lovely do you remember Calla? Calla the um shoe people that were started by a lady who had bunions and could never find comfortable shoes um and so she started Calla. they've been a lovely lovely brand to work with they got in touch with me again and said did i like trainers well as you all know i love trainers i live in trainers in the summertime uh, well all year round really and um so they sent me these beautiful trainers pure leather and um well, I mean, the sole's not leather, but they're, they're white. These are called Star, and they've just got this kind of neutral... Well, it's it's kind of a very, very pale taupe, but it's kind of no colour at all, really. It's just there and there, and then it's just got the little colour um, inscription on the bar there. But the beauty with these shoes is I've got a wide foot. I don't have bunions, thank goodness, because if you threw those into the mix along with my um, Morton's toe, is it Morton's toe? You know, my next toe is longer than my first toe, my big toe, and my wide feet. I, I don't know why I put my feet, but I know a lot of ladies and men have bunions. Um, and it can be very, very hard to get comfortable shoes. So these have got a wide toe box, which is what makes all the difference. And if you remember, I've got these here as well to show you um, because they, when I worked with them before, they gave me these beautiful court shoes. And I can tell you these are the most comfortable court shoes I've ever worn in my life. And although they've got a heel, when you take off the platform, it's not so high. I mean, I'm not going to pretend it's, it's not high because it is relatively high, but you feel so elegant in these. And if the dresses I'm trying on today kind of lend themselves, I will pop these on as well. Um, I've got a trouser suit to show you, uh, and I think three three dresses and a coat and a top. So quite a big haul. And um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to, to say really. I'll only be waffling on. Oh, do you know what happened this morning? <laughs> I waffle on. Um, I was drying my hair, as you can see, freshly coiffed, and the hair dryer blew up in my hand. Literally, I was drying my hair and it went bang, and flames shot out of it, and I threw it across the floor, which, if it had been on fire, would not have been ideal, really, but um, thankfully, it just went bang, some flames shot out, or sparks, probably, and probably exaggerated. <laughs> and uh, that was that. So, uh, yeah, 
bit of a nuisance. It wasn't my actual hair dryer. I used that Zuby dryer that um, I worked with Zuby before and I love that. But I tend to dry it off with the Zuby and then style it with this, um, uh, I don't know what you call it really. It's like, a, it's not a round brush now that I don't use. It's kind of a flat brush both sides. So I'll have to get another one of those because that's what I use all the time now. So anyway, I will start trying on the clothes that I have for you and we'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed. So the first thing I've put on is this um, double breasted suit and um, it's, it's lovely fabric actually. It's a polyester and viscose mix and the jacket is 28 pounds and the trousers are 16 pounds. And this is the one that, you know, when I said there was no waistcoat. So in the um, photographs on the website, it had a matching waistcoat underneath. And I like that look. So I thought, well, I'll try it with matching waistcoat, but they didn't have one. So I've just got it on with the uh, vest top. But um, what I was trying to illustrate was that if you are trying to get the look that you've seen, you know, which might be um, in more expensive stores, you can kind of get the look. This fabric is not bad at all for the price. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels quite nice quality. It's nicely lined. It's got pockets. It's got the vent. It's kind of too big for me, actually, I think. So if I did it up here, maybe it's supposed to look like this kind of oversized. The trousers look flipping awful, but uh, I'll show you, obviously. But I would like it to be just a tad more fitted um, because as it is, it looks a little bit like I've got my day suit on. So let me just angle the camera slightly better. I've had to put the uh, court shoes on because the trousers are so long. So you can see, I got them on okay. They 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 fit fine. They've got a nice pocket. I mean, um, I think for me, I've got these two pleats here. They've got a lot of fabric in there, um, and I I don't think they do anything for me at all. But it, you know, it's not really. I'm not in the market for a pale grey suit really. I just fancied it, and I thought I would would show you um what's out there really so what's that uh 30, 44 pounds you've got a suit um which is not bad at all is it really um and sometimes you know maybe for an interview or or you know just for separates really it's it's a lovely color i'll say that for it for me that's the only part that works Sleeves are a bit long. George sizes are pretty good, actually. They're not skimpy, I'll say that for them. Nora, too, at Sainsbury's, to be fair. So I've got them on with the Calicourt shoes. I've um, got a 15% discount for you, which is going to be valid for two weeks till the 4th of March. Um, so and I think that's HMJ10, but I'll put it on the screen down below. So that's the... Um, trousers and jacket the suit the other thing with um george is that i've got a really generous uh, returns policy this and if there's a problem it's actually a year's policy i believe but if um i've got until may to return this so plenty of time but um yeah so i'm just going to pop the coat on now with the trousers because i think that's the kind of most appropriate combination now this coat is £32 and um, it's 100% polyester, but it doesn't feel particularly polyestery. I know that's not a word. It feels quite good. It's quite lightweight. Now, they didn't have an 18, so I got it in a 16. And I probably, I mean, I can get it done up. So I don't know if it's got a vent, if that's pulling the vent. But, you know, how often do you actually do a coat up? Not often. But I just thought it would be a nice... Um, layer with the with the grey suit grey suit trousers I couldn't get it on over the jacket because that jacket is quite bulky and and wide it's got um good finish here it's that four four buttons on the cuff nice buttons you know mottled they're not just boring plain plastic um do you know what it's probably washable 
Um, oh, yeah, it is washable. In fact, it says do not dry clean. But, you know, you might find it in the store. I mean, obviously, the coats are on their way out. This is quite a nice springtime coat, isn't it? I've got a pink coat that I got in Asda years ago, and everybody thinks that it's an expensive coat, and it was £28, I think. So, yeah, now is really... I know it, it feels weird, but now is really the time to buy a coat because um, there's some really, really good reductions in the shops. So I love this colour. It's not a colour I've got too much of, but I think it goes with my new colouring grey. Um, so that's the coat. I will go and um, see which dress to put on first. Now this dress is um, a polyester acrylic elastane mix and um, funnily enough I didn't like it at all before I put it on. I do think I'm going to spontaneously combust at any second because as I mentioned it's really mild today and this dress is incredibly warm. I did say on the last knitted dress I tried on from m and um, I personally would never be able to wear a dress like that because um, I don't really, you know, even if I'm outside in a cold place, I've got to come into a warm place and I just cannot bear being over warm. As I say, I've got the back door open now and we're in February, but, um, this is 28 pounds. I think I might've said that this is in a large, the suit was in a, an 18. Um, I don't know. It's got fairly long slit here it's it's not too bad sort of size wise I don't think um if you're in the market for this kind of dress it's as it's as good as any other I've actually gone dizzy turning around like that that's how warm I am Whew. um so yeah what's to say it's oatmeal natural they call it so I'm not sure if it comes in any other colours um, I think it's got a limited, it's a bit clinging around my belly, isn't it? But a slip would sort that out. Um, so, yeah, if it's your cup of tea, this is a good example. Lover. So this dress is just £16 and I got it in a size 16 because it said it was a, um, fitted sort of on the large side. And I didn't want it to be kind of swamping me. And this is totally fine. It's I've got heavy arms and it's fine there. It's um, buttoned to the waist and then it's tiered. I love the black and kind of white, I suppose it is really. It's got a little button cuff. Um, and I've got it on with the Calla trainers. And um, they are so comfortable. If you've got a wide foot or indeed bunions, these will really fit the bill for you. And the other thing is that you can take the um, inner sole out and put your own orthotic in if you need it. I've got a friend who has to do that with whatever shoes she wears. So these would be ideal for her because with that little bit of extra space, it gives you the flexibility to do that. So um, yeah, overall, I love this. I love a trainer with a, with a summer dress. I, I really, really do. I think this looks great, actually. Um, Shame there's no pockets, but for £16, like, um, it's not bad, is it? It's more or less out of the packet. I did give it a quick steam, but I didn't iron it. And it was actually in the packet for four days sitting in the hallway. So, um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good for £16. Incredible. I don't know how creasy up it would be. Let's see. But with a packet, a, a packet pattern like this you do get away with it I've, I've done the crease test there mum used to always do that I've sort of taken after hers it's not bad at all um let's say I love the print I, I I love the dress actually 16 pound I may well add this one to the wardrobe and as I say I love the whole trainer with a summer dress thing I know not everybody does but um as you know I live in trainers through the summer apart from when I put a sandal on and it's nice to to not have my toes crying for help <laughs> oh I've got a little jacket to try on with this I'll just go and grab that so this little jacket is a cream boot clay 
It's a nice fabric. It's uh, polyester and cotton and nylon and viscose. And again, this is do not dry clean, which is music to my ears, really. I don't buy anything virtually that needs dry cleaning. Um, it is quite big, though. I think, I, I think I'd want it smaller. I think I'd want it in a 16. Long sleeve. Two, sleeves are too long. Or should I just start saying my arms are too short? Things I never knew. I've got short arms, apparently. Or maybe when you get fatter, your arms are supposed to get longer. I don't know how that works. Anyway, um, it's nice. It's got these patch pockets on the front, and it is just a short jacket. But ideal, really, to put over these, these summer dresses, don't you think? Gold zip. Did I say the price? Can't remember, 28 pounds. Um, excellent. I, I don't know, if it went smaller, yeah, because again, I don't think I would hardly ever wear it done up and undone like that. It looks fine, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so maybe, maybe if I'm in the store, I will try, and they've got it, I'll try a smaller one. But I just thought it was a little bit different and um, kind of smarter than a cardigan, which is, you know, oftentimes what you're pushed towards in, in the in-between seasons that we have in the UK. Um, pretty good for £28, I have to say. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good look, really. Not necessarily by hands like that, but um, yeah. So what's next? I'll see. So this one is 100% viscose. I really like it. It's black, as you can see, with this embroidery all over the sleeves and around the neck. It's um, £34. I think that's pretty good, given all the detail and round the hem too. I really like this. I really like it. Did I say that? I really like it. You know, I think um, it's very versatile. It's got this little, well, they're not little, they're really long ties actually. So you can kind of have it more like a keyhole if that's your preference. Um, no pockets, but you wouldn't expect that at that price point, really. Um, I think two are the ones that mostly put um, pockets in their, in their dresses. Um, do you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember that one I tried on from Marks and Spencer? I think it was over a year ago now, and it was very similar to this in as much as it was black with white embroidery, but it was the nastiest kind of nylon polyester that looked like it would literally melt if it went anywhere near a flame or even just a warm thing. Did I say at the time that the sun online picked up on that video? And I started getting messages from people saying, do you know you're in the sun online? And if you Google it now, if you if you Google Helen, Mary, not that you'd want to, but I mean, you know, Helen Mary Jo, the sun online, and it'll come up. And um, yeah, they they talk about me talking about that dress, which uh, was hilarious at the time. So funny, isn't it? Things that you never thought would happen in your life. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this. And again, I will judge when I see it on the camera. My hair, you can see my hair was slightly damp when I started filming, so now it's starting to flicker all every which way, because um, that's what it does. Anyway, that's, um, what's that, the third dress. I've got one more to show you. I like the fact that it's not hugely, um, you know, voluminous at the bottom, and I like the fact that um, the pattern around the hem goes all the way around. It would look a bit nappy if it went to the front. But I think that's a pretty good dress for the money. And it fits perfectly, an 18. So this one is um, £28 and it's pure cotton seersucker. And it's a wrap over. Um, it's got quite an unusual sleeve 
it's um, gathered at the top and it's got a seam here and then it's got the last bit. So it's like a balloon sleeve, really. It's quite nice. I don't dislike it. Now, I stopped buying wraparound dresses quite a while ago for this reason, the boobage. Um, I don't know why. I just... They, I'd have to wear a vest top with it. That's, that's the short and simple answer. So I got this in 18. The one thing I did want to mention is that um, George dresses and clothes do go up to larger sizes. This dress goes up to a 24. But I think that last dress actually went up to a 28. So um, if you're looking for larger sizes, you could do worse than have a look at two, uh, George. So you can see how it is. It's a little bit needs a vest top. I took a vest top off. I don't know why. I should have left it on. Um, but I was living in hope. Now, I tend to not buy wraparound dresses for this very reason, because I just spend all my time readjusting it. And I would rather just put the dress on and be done with it. So, but I, I love the print. I love Searsucker. It's a lovely, cool dress. Um, and again, I think it looks, it looks good with the trainers. Um, but, you know, obviously you can't walk around like that, can you? Well, you could, but I wouldn't. Nice and cool. I haven't put socks on with these um, trainers. I normally would wear trainer socks um, and there's loads of room for them too. So they're a lovely soft leather. This is literally the first time I've put them on my feet. So um, I'm not lying to you when I say they are incredibly comfortable. They are lower than I normally wear a flat form, but sometimes I think a lower trainer does look kind of neater. Depends what look you're after, really. But uh, as you can see, um, I've got that. It does up under here and it does up over there. But um, I don't think I could tie a knot strong enough. <laughs> So I've just got one last little t-shirt to show you and then I will wrap this up and, and unwrap these. <laughs> so finally, it's just this little t-shirt. Um, I got this in an 18. It is quite snug, but it is like a stretchy kind of t-shirt. I think it's got a lovely neck. This is part of their Everyday Basics range and this was just £5.50. And it's 98% cotton and 2% elastane. And I do like that. I do like them to have a little bit of elastane in because it keeps the shape better. Um, I think it's a really flattering neckline. It's decent length. It's long enough. Um, yeah, it's a great layering piece. And I think that is excellent value for money. So that is the um, George Hall in Mahor. Um I hope you've enjoyed it. What else have I got coming up? Oh goodness, I don't know. I haven't done the air fryer video yet. I'm gonna do an air fryer video with the air fryer. I've been gifted a new brand. And then I'm going to do a kind of a regular household. You know, what? what is it? Um, at home with Helen video where I'll do some more sort of generalized air frying in um, one of my other air fryers too. So, um, yeah, I think that's it from me. So I'm getting my hair cut next week. Um, oh, it's like what to do, isn't it? Because I do like it longer, but it's such hard work. Um, so I'll probably just have it trimmed up, put some layers in it. Um, I love it when I first washed it, but then, you know, it, it's hard work, this hair, because uh, it's got a mind of its own. Um, as you can see, because when we started, that was going that way, and now it's going that way. I still haven't found the photos of me in my uh, Mother of the Bride or groom outfit, so I will do that hopefully at the weekend, and um, I will see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.